Hey, what's up guys? It's Rob Gordon, the wingman. I'm up here in uh, Santa Barbara. I'm heading for the weekend to the Cali Core Lord Cold Water Classic, a little downwind meetup slash race um, that Foil Me Harder has put together. My original plan today was to go up on Friday and check out the, um, the race conditions and launches to see if Maybe I could do an upwinder, downwinder to get some filming of the sup guys coming down the race because Foil Me Harder doesn't want us launching at the same time as all the sup guys. I guess trying to keep it more low key. That's fine. You don't have to include us wingers. We we can do our own thing. But I want to go up there and, and and do that. But on the way up, I saw there's a mission that I've been wanting to do for a little while. There's a private ranch, surf ranch. It's like some of the best breaks in Southern California and the the property along the beach went private. I think sometimes in like the 60s or 70s or something. And a bunch of like rich surfers just bought up access and then and then the road is off limits. You're not allowed to go up there. So if you want to get on the ranch, you need to know someone who owns property there or you got to take a little inflatable boat up from Gaviota state park and then anchor off and look i've heard that there's guys who will even cut your anchor on your boat and stuff it's you know this isn't like some big secret i'm not like letting out a big secret but it's just it, there's there's a real localism here i'm pretty against private beaches i think that's pretty lame good for these guys for having a lot of money and being able to buy themselves private property but they even have little security guard patrol the area there's a little um down here, there's a little railroad pass. Surfers used to walk up the railroad. They even patrol that now, supposedly. I don't know. I don't think it's even going to be that good a foiling wave because it's got a bunch of kelp. But I just want to go up there and check it out. You know, I love an adventure. Also, just to kind of stick it to the man. I don't know. It looks pretty good conditions right now. It was kind of offshore earlier and the forecast is offshore. But right now it looks like I could do it on my six meter, no problem. It's pretty side shore now, it's pretty filled in. I don't know, let's see how this goes. All right, conditions look pretty good. I'm rigging a big wing, six meter small foil so I can go faster than I did in that Mojave thing. We'll see if that works out. If I get stuck in like a really low wind spot, that could be an issue. Um, I got the big board, 75 liter uh, Nash, and I let the lifeguards know my plan, so. They're looking at me like I'm a kook, but hopefully I won't prove them correct. <laughs> All right, let's give this a try. Well, you got some good wind now, huh? Yeah, it should be pretty windy. Yeah. Okay. And it did seem like it was going to be pretty windy. My plan was to wing five, six miles up to one of the right-hand point breaks on the ranch. When I first went out, I was in a wind shadow, which I expected. So I just, you know, butt scooted out to the wind line. Once I got past the pier, I got up on foil pretty quickly, pretty easily. And I felt pretty powered. The six and the one, two, five seemed like the right choice. I did a couple of runs upwind just so I had that footage of going upwind. I went out a bit. I jibed. Yeah, everything felt good. I was actually worried I might be a little bit too overpowered if the wind came up. All right, conditions seem pretty good. I'm rigged just about right. So uh, we'll give this a go. I'm going to try out the camera for the upwind. Save the battery. Unfortunately, I spoke too soon. A couple of more upwind tacks and I started finding these pockets of dead air. I don't know, I might have to abandon this mission because the wind line just keeps getting further and further out. I can't even get on foil and I'm like half a mile from the shore. So we'll see, we'll see if I can do it. Yeah, 
It just didn't seem like it was going to work. And I don't want to be stuck way out there with landlord lurking around, so I went downwind. This second flaca attempt, you can see like I'm up in the air and then I go to turn and then boom, the wind just dies and I just get like a really weird landing. The wind was just so on off. Well, the Communist Wing Party failed takeover of the bourgeois assets. The rich people win again. Man, I just, as I got out there, I mean, I was only up there like a, maybe a mile, maybe not, maybe not even that. I wasn't even that far. It was, it was not that windy. It was okay when I first went out. When I first went out, it felt pretty good. I felt like pretty locked in. I got out to the wind line. It was pretty good. Oh, I better turn around before I get to the light wind and I turned around and like I fell and I was like I can't get up it's weird so then the next time I didn't go even I went even further out and didn't come and then I fell again because there was no wind and it just the wind line just kept getting further and further out and I was like and then it started getting really light as well like so even when I got to the wind line it wasn't that windy so man I don't know this does not feel like it's gonna work and then even if I got to the break there's no way I could have winged it because there was no wind there. So. And that, that seems like this is the prevailing wind pattern here. So I don't, I'm not sure it's really doable, which is too bad because it would be pretty, pretty awesome if you could sneak in there, snag some waves and then come back. You can see there the wind is just, you know, there's like little patches of wind. But yeah, as I got over to up in there somewhere, it just the wind line just seemed really far out. Here's one of the wind graphs from the, the afternoon. You can see that it's a pretty wide gap, and those lows were really low because of that offshore wind. Um, I ended up making it about two miles upwind, but you can see I'm really struggling. I had to go further and further out, and I needed to go about five miles to that first good break that I was looking for. Look at this guy, <laughs> the mastermind behind this whole thing. He's showing me around. Maybe you can like, maybe you can talk us through the, through uh, the run. I can't show my face. Oh no! Okay, fine. We could do that. <laughs> wait, yonder. wait. I, I, I'll just switch the camera around. So over yonder, there's a green buoy off the tip of the jetty. This is a really long paddle out. That's kind of nice. Everybody can line up just underneath the jetty, and then at the certain time, we'll just get up and go. And it's basically straight downwind, keep kicking right, keep kicking right. And you'll see some sand dunes over there. It's where the mountains turns to beach and city, turns back into sand dunes. Right about there is going to be the finish line, about eight miles. That's pretty sick. Like you're, you're far from, it's interesting because you got all this protected water, but you're far from shore because you're way out there with the bumps past all the sailboats. So just to show you on the map, I was at Santa Barbara, and then Matt and I were up at the San Luis Obispo area. You can see we're on the top left at that point, and the run is about seven to seven and a half miles down to the other side. And then we had a little bit of Chinese food before the end of the night. This is the second time I've camped up here. It's supposed to be a really beautiful view, but I have yet to see the view. It's pretty crazy. It's just like a ridge. Kind of a sketchy road to get up in the dark. Just drops off on either side. Oh, that's pretty nice. 
Nice view of the valley down there. All right, we got a little McGriddle at Mickey D's, and we're heading down to the end of the, the race. So I'm going to just take a look and see if I can paddle out here, because my, my thought is when they go shuttle upwind, if the wind is up, I'll go out here and then upwind on the wing up until I run into them on the way back down and try and get some footage of them. Lifeguard stand 33. And then the race starts up over there somewhere. It looks pretty chill to get out. I mean, looks can be deceiving, but I don't think there'd be any trouble getting out. And there's the spot where people can drive on the beach. I think you can camp down there as well. Kind of nice if you know if you mess up and you get blown downwind, you'll you'll end up on land because the way the the whole bay kind of hooks around. Yeah, it looks pretty chill right now. Yo, man. Hey, there he is. What's up? Yeah. 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 up here. Some of the Santa Barbara guys. NorCal, a couple of NorCal guys. Got Kyle, who just sent that huge uh, run with Way Hall up in Santa Cruz from Maverick, Santa Cruz. Most of the people are going straight up to the to the port. All right, the boys all took off. I head out there, see if I can get past the shore break and meet them. my foil like I hit something and it was all twitchy but then I I dropped down and it was just one little strand of seagrass and it was okay but yeah it's real gusty it's kind of I'm a little overpowered in the gust there's the port up there some wingers up there I'm overpowered. Oh yeah. What are you on? Oh, oh that's good. I'm on a six. Yeah, get it, get it. It's really hard to film because it's so gusty. We lost Alex. He's out there. Let's see if we can chase him down. Turn the camera off. Pretty good one right there. I'm down this little bump. Relax a little bit. My legs are shot. There's a little bump over here. I'll connect over here. This one. Okay. Yeah, nice. Pretty sick. Chasing Alex. He went out a little deeper. I don't know where Bert went. Some good bumps right here. Kind of just stacked up. Can kind of just sit in the pocket a little bit. Uh oh, I spoke too soon. Oh. All right, I spoke too soon. But yeah, it's it's more like actual downwindy bumps now. Like you can really find stuff to connect to. Like I'm actually downwinding. I'm not just riding swell here. See how like lined up it is. You can really just kind of continue. I'm um, on a pretty good piece as well here now. Just following it. There's something over here. Pump across. 
try and get into this channel. Oh, that's a good one. Let's see how long we can go on this one, huh? We're on a good one. Oh, I spoke too soon. Every time I speak. little channel right here. Pump across, pump across. Ugh. Come on. And drop in. And now we're in another channel. We missed them all. Let's see if we can speed up and get alongside them and not mess them up. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Well, we missed uh, we missed most of the race. We only caught one supper, or I think we saw two suppers. We caught one on video. Uh, a couple other guys are still out on winging, Alex and Burke. I see them out there. Maybe we can get them on video a little bit. Alex, how was it? Oh, it was sick. Oh, sorry. <laughs> let, let me do that again. It was sick. <laughs> I looked up and you guys were already going downwind. Oh, oh no! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Before I went out, he said, just keep going right more than you think. So I kept going right, right. And I went all the way to the church. Yeah, I, I saw you. I was like, where are you going? <laughs> but I wanted to line up so I could just go straight. So good. Well, that was a lot of fun. Um, I kind of screwed up a little bit. I, I went out a little bit too early trying to make it up there. I took out the six and I couldn't even get going for a little while. I finally got up and then the wind kicked in and I was kind of overpowered. It was really gusty. And I went a little bit too far inland, a little too close to land because that's where the wind was a little better for my setup. And I kept looking for them, but I, I kind of missed them. So I did end up uh, meeting up with the wingers, Alex and Burke. So that was cool. I didn't really get much footage. It was, just, it was really hard to film with how gusty the wind was and being a little bit overpowered. But uh, I only saw like one sup. I think I saw two sup guys. I got a little footage of someone. <laughs>